you are likely familiar with Goliath, the notorious giant from Gatha Philistia. Among biblical giants, he is the main attraction. You might be surprised to learn that there's a lot more to his enormous family and his narrative. We'll explore the stories of Goliath's five brothers today. They're all large, imposing characters that resemble him. Created in response to popular demand, this is the first installment of our series on biblical giants. Please remember to like, comment, and share this with friends and family if you think this in-depth look is interesting. Now let's explore this Genesis in scripture. Even though Goliath is the most well-known giant in the Bible, there are a few little known details about him his upbringing, and particularly his family. A fact of life that is frequently overlooked, he wasn't raised by himself. Goliath's five brothers belonged to the enormous Repayim or Rephate bloodline. The whole tale of this dreadful and enormous monster of the Holy Scriptures is little known. His siblings, who share the same race, are his genetic relatives. An interesting detail about his life that most people who are familiar with his narrative are unaware of, in case you missed it, Goliath's race, the Repaim Giants, often referred to as Refate Giants, consisted of around five brothers. According to the Bible, as soon as the five brothers of Goliath learned that their brother Goliath of Gath, who shared their race, had been slain by King David, these five giants were so enraged that they made every effort to assassinate the Israelite ruler. According to certain experts and thinkers, one of these giants engaged David in combat. However, as the movie will show us in more detail later on, this giant was murdered by a friend of one of David's warriors. The people who were represented by the Israelites warned David not to launch any additional conflicts or fights, since he might be alone when other giants tried to murder him. This was done to ensure that the lamp of Israel wouldn't run out. According to the Bible, following the Israelites' departure from Egypt, the house of slavery, they traveled to Canaan, where they encountered several Canaanites, Canaana tribes, and giants of various racial backgrounds. These giants were very broad and tall. They were enormous, measuring 6.5 feet in width and 10 to 15 feet in height. One notable example is King O.G. of Basin. At his widest point, he measured 6.5 feet by 15 feet. It was so heavy that support for the whole thing required an iron bed. Yes, he appeared to be a monster. The Bible also describes the Rephaim, sometimes known as the Rephaims, a prehistoric, enormous tribe that existed before the Nephilim and the Antiquians. They resided in the Basin area, which is today in Israel and Jordan, and everybody knew it. Giants or mighty men are both ways to say Rephaim. Deuteronomy 2, 20, 21 and 3.11 refer to them, and O.G., the king of Basin, is identified as their king. The Bible also describes the giants known as the Anakims or Anakians. Before Joshua led the Israelites to conquer Canaan, they were residents of that land. They were a towering, powerful tribe. The Israelites are informed in Numbers 13.33 that the Hebrew spies claimed to have seen the sons of Anak as giants. The Israelites became suspicious and terrified as a result. According to the Bible, the majority of giants and gigantic races that fled or stayed alive from Joshua and Israel did so because Israel engaged in combat with them, killing or gravely wounding a large number of them. The majority of these titans relocated to Philistia, Mesopotamia and other adjacent nations in addition to relocating to Africa. There are legends of these terrifying giants among many different groups of people and in practically every region of the earth. This implies that giants were present throughout Mesopotamia, Africa, the Americas, Europe, and India, in addition to the area of Canaan. Let's now go into greater depth about each of Goliath's brothers. Every single one of them is enormous. Goliath's first big sibling was named Lami. Like Goliath, Lami was also a large man. According to 1 Chronicles 20-5, Lami was struck by Elhanan, the son of Jer during another battle with the Philistines. Lami was the Jatite brother of Goliath, and his spear shaft was similar to a weaver's organ. This verse tells us some fascinating facts about Goliath's brother, Lami. The size of his spear is raised as an intriguing question in this passage. Additionally, given the size of the weaver's organ and the weight of his spear, that is to say, 
If his spear was the length of a weaver's organ or roughly the same length, it was unquestionably a very long and extremely heavy spear. The enormous Lamy stood nearly as tall as the enormous Goliath, if not the same. There are reports that the enormous Lamy measured 10 or maybe 10 and a half feet. The next giant mentioned in the Bible was called Ishbibana. He belonged to the same race of giants as Goliath. One of Repayim's sons, Ishbibana, was described in 2 Samuel 21:16 as possessing a spear with a bronze point that weighed roughly 300 shekels. This weight is substantial. In addition, he wielded a massive new sword and made sure that everyone was aware of its size. Its weight is demonstrated by the claims made by some that the spearhead alone weighed between 13 and 15 pounds. Ishbibinab's sword is described in the book as being enormous and extremely sharp, perfect for a giant. Similar to Goliath, Ishbibinab was a behemoth who attempted to cause harm and even tried to kill David. However, David's friend Abishai, who was Zeruiah's son, saved him. He killed Ishbibinab by beating him. It's interesting to remember that when David faced off against another giant for the second time, he faced off against Ishbibinab. David, on the other hand, sought assistance since he was tired of fighting. The brother of Goliath, Ishbibinab, was vanquished by Abishi, his sister's son. Ishbibinab was probably nine or ten feet tall, if not taller, given the size of his weaponry and his huge stature. Among his ancestors was not just the renowned biblical hero Goliath, as noted in 2 Samuel 21:18, his brother Saif was also one of the Rephaim giants. Sibike the Hoshite triumphed against Saif in a battle with the Philistines in one instance. In terms of size, it is thought that Saif could had been around the same height as Goliath, maybe a little bit smaller or taller. Many estimate Saif's height to have been six cubits or between nine and ten feet. However, 2 Samuel 21:19 adds more complexity to the story by introducing us to yet another giant from Gath. It's interesting that he goes by asterisk asterisk Goliath the Gittite asterisk asterisk Elhanan the Bethlehemite faced and defeated this Goliath during a battle at Gob. The Goliath's distinctive weapon was a spear as thick as a weaver's beam. Oversized spears appear to run in the family. However, to dispel any misunderstanding regarding their common name, one was the Gittite, while the other hailed from Gath. However, the huge family doesn't stop there. Unidentified in the text, Goliath had a fifth sibling who was a strange person. This particular giant gained notoriety not just for his extraordinary stature, but also for having six toes on each hand and foot, for a total of 24 toes. This enormous person, who belonged to the Rephaite ancestry, is thought to have been the largest of them all. His peculiar digit arrangement has drawn a lot of attention. If you are unfamiliar with the story of Goliath's family, please share your thoughts in the comments section. Your opinions are always appreciated by those who connect with these stories. The next video is a movie about the Antichrist power. Watch the video now.